Hello, it is hard to believe that we are already in February. I do have the February board report for you. It was a long meeting, but we got a number of things accomplished. First of all, under consent agenda, we had bills totaling $9,828,480.99. This is a little bit higher than normal, but there were two things associated with that. First of all, we did have a number of computers that we did buy for replacement in the district, and also because of the bond issue, we have a number of architectural fees that we paid out this month. Also under consent agenda, we did approve to let bids for medical services for the employee sponsored health clinic. And this, it's hard to believe that we are already now entering our fifth year with our health clinic. It's been a great thing for our employees and the district, so we're excited to put this out for bid. Also under the consent agenda, we did have the approval to let bids for the disaster recovery services. We do have backup services in the caves here in Independence in case we would ever have some sort of natural disaster. So we are letting bids for this. Under new business, we did have the authorization for the issuance, sale, and delivery of general obligation bonds. This is great news for the district. We are refunding $10 million of bonds that were issued in 2007. This will save our taxpayers about $900,000 in principal and interest payments. Number two, we had the approval of changes to Board of Education policies. I won't get into all of these policy changes. Certainly you can go online and see these, but just so you know, whenever we do have a policy change, it does have to have two readings. So this will be the first reading with the second reading to be followed in March. Number three is the approval of the employment calendars for the 17-18 school year. Whenever we do approve the school calendar, we subsequently follow up with our 10, 11, and 12th month employee calendar. So the board did approve that tonight. Number four under new business is the approval of the performance-based evaluation instrument. This is something that we do update regularly because there are DESI requirements for this. Number five is the approval of the FY14 Head Start Policy Committee bylaws and also the budget summary for the 16-17 year. Again, this is an annual thing that we have to do to make sure that we are in compliance with any new federal regulations. Number six is the approval to accept a proposal for the installation of a scoreboard at Truman High School football field. This is exciting news because it will mirror what we did put up at Christman, but also because no taxpayer dollars were used to fund this. We were able to pay for the entire scoreboard plus its installation with sponsorships that will be upon the scoreboard. Uh, number seven is the approval of the FY17 budget amendments. This is something that we do twice a year. Typically we do it in February and then also in June. The February budget amendments typically deal with any grants that we have that came in during the course of the school year, but also it includes budget carryovers for all of our buildings. Number eight is the approval to accept an asphalt replacement at the Central Warehouse. We're doing this as we convert the former YMCA building into the new Central Warehouse for the school district. This is just some asphalt work so it's ready to go come springtime. Number nine is the approval of the preliminary budget for ordering supplies for the 17-18 school year. According to Missouri state statutes, a school district cannot expend the following school year money within the current school year's budget without board approval. So we're doing this so our buildings can order supplies for next school year. Number 10 is the approval of the agreement for the district environmental site audits and staff trainings. The ISD does have an agreement with Children's Mercy Hospital, which they go around to each of our buildings on a scheduled basis and check for any environmental concerns. Also, if we ever have concerns within a building during the course of the year, they will come in and do uh, site audits for each of those schools. So that is your board report for February. I would like to say thank you. I've been out to a lot of buildings to talk about the bond issue, had great response, and you will continue to get more information about the start of March as we do our big social media push and I start going out into the community. So again, thank you for what you do and have a great February.